क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव फ्रॉम विच पार्ट द डेरिवेटिव इज ओरिजिनेटेड इन द अर्लियर चैप्टर्स यू हैव स्टडीड लिमिट्स सो बेसिकली डेरिवेटिव इज ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम लिमिट्स Now let us refer these points. Now basic definition of derivative it is defined as derivative is a rate of change of a dependent variable with respect to another independent variable. Derivative is defined as a change of a dependent variable with respect to an independent variable. This chapter derivative was first introduced by two scientists one of which was Isaac Newton and the second one was Leibniz. Let us see the definition of derivatives that was given by Leibniz. If I say y is equal to f of x is a function and del y is a small increment in y and at the same time del x is also a change in terms of x. If I say y and x are the two variables, y is changing and at the same time x is also changing. So that change basically del y by del x represents the increment. Now this increment can be positive or negative and the ratio that we obtained by dividing del y and del x is nothing but a rate of change. If I say this change is very close to zero but not exactly zero it means the limit of x is tending to zero. So limit x tending to zero del y by del x is nothing but change in y with respect to x and that can be written as dy by dx. This was the definition which was given by Leibniz. So basically derivative is described as change in one quantity with respect to another quantity. If I give you a simple example, what is velocity? Velocity is defined as change in displacement with respect to time. So if s is the displacement of a particle in time t, it means a particle is covering a distance s. So the change in displacement will be ds and at the same time time is going to increase. So that change can be denoted as dt. So if I say ds by dt, that is nothing but velocity. If I talk about acceleration, what is acceleration? It is change in velocity with respect to time. So change in velocity is nothing but dv and at the same time change in time is nothing but dt. So dv by dt is our acceleration. So whenever two quantities are changing with respect to one another, we say there is a differentiability. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.